It's a decision Volodymyr Zelensky has hailed as a breakthrough agreement. F-16 aircraft are one more step towards improving Ukraine's air defense shield, aircraft that will be used to keep the Russian terrorists as far as possible from Ukrainian cities and villages. The Netherlands and Denmark says they will supply Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets following approval days earlier from the United States, where the jets are made. Today we can announce that the Netherlands and Denmark commit to transfer F-16 aircraft to Ukraine and the Ukrainian Air Force, in close cooperation with the United States and other partners. The announcement comes after months of appeals from Ukraine to Western leaders for the advanced military hardware. F-16s will certainly give new energy, confidence and motivation to fighters and civilians. I'm sure it will deliver new results for Ukraine and all of Europe. The Netherlands have yet to decide how many planes out of their fleet of 42 can be sent over, while Denmark has so far pledged 19 fighter planes, as well as training for pilots, engineers and mechanics. The training will soon be starting and hopefully around New Year, the first group of planes will be leaving Denmark, going to, to Ukraine around six. With an ageing fleet of Soviet-era aircraft, Ukraine has long said it lacked the air power it needed to protect its skies. The support of sophisticated Western military planes could help Ukrainian pilots to tip the balance in their favour. When approaching the target, we are constantly faced with the fact that Russia aircraft are covering their troops. If we have F-16 planes, then we will be free to fly and their air defence troops, their Russian planes, will move away from us. For Ukraine's armed forces, 18 months into Russia's invasion, the F-16s can't come soon enough. Madison Watt, ABC News.